When you have like uh, your heads off living, plus your two co-founders, you obviously wonder like, uh, what is the future going to be? I was afraid that the company would come to an end. I think I learned a lot with this crisis. And the first thing that I learned is that your team is everything. Running a $150 million company by myself is not sustainable. You cannot take your company or your team to the next level if yourself are not becoming a next level person. To embrace change, you need to go outside of your comfort zone. I really think that this was a once in a lifetime opportunity to uh, live such experience is just crazy when you think about it. Being the CEO of a company that goes from zero to five million is not the same thing as being the CEO of a company that goes from five million to 20 to 25. It gets harder as your company gets bigger. And for me, I was always like obsessed about time and how can I make the most of my time. 2022 was a uh, very like heavy year, tons of challenges, a lot of chaos. I just uh, thought that it was time for me to live for three months. Am I capable of setting boundaries for myself and create the right environment to strive? Because if you can create the right environment to strive for yourself for three months, you'll be able to create the right environment for your team so they can strive for three years. And I isolate myself to really like level up. Being far from like family, friends, etc., is uh, feels sometimes a bit lonely. Sometimes you feel like left apart a bit. Okay, like it's now or never for me to really like step up. Our goal now is to reach $100 million in annual recurring revenue in the next three to five years. Do like big bets and sometimes you win, sometimes you don't, but when you win, you win big.